I won't say like, I don't say don't let the, don't be scared, but I will say don't let that fear trick you into thinking that it's bad. Fear isn't always bad. Yeah. Fear is sometimes the best motivator and it can drive you to do amazing things. If your intent is good, your fear might lead you to help thousands of people. <laughs> I think you've come a long way in terms of being much more positive and optimistic since like we first, as I first started, met you, right? Because like yeah. Mike and I were like, yo, fucking no more complaining. Yeah. <laughs> and you've come a long way, but I can feel that. And Rico even said he feels that energy, right? Where it's like there was something and like everyone has bad days, yeah. but like if it's consistently feeling burnt out and just like, ugh, yeah. you got to make a change. And sometimes that change will be super scary. When I, I started the Inner Circle in 2015. Yeah. But my entire business up to that point was built on the backbone of one-on-one -on -one coaching. The majority of my business was run through one-on-one. -on -one. And f between December 2015, all the way through all of 2016, until the summer of 2017, I was still doing more one-on-one -on -one than Inner Circle. I wasn't really promoting Inner Circle. It took literally from December 2015 until June or July of 20, it was July of 2017, when I called Kat, my assistant, and I was like, I need you to hold me accountable uh -huh. and not let me take on more one-on-ones and put everybody in a circle because if I don't do this, I'm going to drive myself fucking crazy. Being scared is a good thing. And I've, sa I've said this a lot. I very firmly believe that the kids who like definitively have a place to go and definitively have money in the bank, they're way less, they're not generally the best entrepreneurs because like they always have something to fall back on. So like they can be more relaxed, they can sleep in, they can do whatever. I paid for my college, I support my mom fully, like I like everything. Like if I don't do what I do, yeah. then I'm out on the street. I'm scared every fucking day. Responsible for Rico, responsible for my assistant, responsible for like fucking web guy, like scared shitless every day. But I very much believe that fear is a huge driver for my productivity and for success. I won't say like, I don't say don't let the don't be scared, but I will say don't let that fear trick you into thinking that it's bad. Fear isn't always bad. Yeah. Fear is sometimes the best motivator, and it can drive you to do amazing things. If your intent is good, your fear might lead you to help thousands of people, right? And like in the process, build an amazing business and company and lifestyle for you. But that fear might literally help you help thousands of people all over the world. I'm afraid. I, I'm not as good as I think I can be. I'm as afraid as I can be on a level of you and Mike. In terms of, as a coach? As a coach, as having to be secure with, with money, to be secure with knowing like, I'm good, at, I'm good at what I do and there's thousands of people who would pay for my service. Dude, every day I'm like, is this gonna go? I'm scared about that every day. Every day I'm scared about that. Like, Literally, my hands, hairs are standing up. Like yeah. every day, I'm scared yeah, about that. Most of them, but like, if it, this fails, bro, I have nothing else. It it only fails if you quit. I'm like I I'm listen. You will always, always, always have a job because you care about what you do. You care about who you're doing it with, and you you're good at what you do. Like you're never just gonna stop working, right? No. Like you're just you're never gonna stop. Like let's say this goes away. You're not just gonna go sit and watch fucking TV. You'd go find a job. Yeah. You would. Yeah. There's, you're always gonna have something. I promise you that. I promise you that. You do not have to, I won't say, I don't say don't be scared of it because sometimes that fear is good, yeah. but don't let that, don't let that fear trick you into thinking that it's bad. Like use that fear, use it in a positive way. P optimistic, pessimistic. Yeah. I'm fucking scared shitless. Let's go make content. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm fucking scared shitless. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm scared shitless. I'm gonna stay up and make content. I'm scared shitless. I'm gonna go watch TV. I'm scared shitless. I'm gonna go DM 50 people. Use that fear for optimism to help other people. No one ever regretted helping more people. There's not one person who ever said, fuck, I really wish I didn't help those people. A lot of people regret not taking action and doing more. If you're, you know, like, 
Pavlov's dog. It's like they hear a bell, like all of a sudden, like they they get trained to expect a certain response from like when they hear a bell. Like they hear a bell and they like hit them. They hear a bell and they like get hungry, whatever. When you feel this fear, yeah. make yourself, force yourself to do something positive. Like when you write it down, like when I start feeling fearful about this, I will immediately go into my DMs or go on Instagram and like message five random people and thank them for their support and offer my help for free. Like whatever it is, you could do like, if I feel this fear, I'm going to make an Instagram post. If I feel this fear, whatever, you can make it whatever you want, but make your response to fear a positive action rather than what it currently is, which is a self-doubt, overwhelming, da, da, da. like that's what your, your current reaction is. You can change that. Feel it, recognize it consciously, and then make a change. That will be infinitely powerful to you. That will just be remarkably powerful because it will change your response and it will in benefit you in the long run. Because now instead of just sitting there being like, oh my God, overwhelmed, you're, no one's ever taking action and like not feeling good. You're only feeling shitty when you're not doing anything. If you're taking action, you're making content, you're doing stuff, you're generally like, you might not feel like super happy, but at least like you're in a better mental state of mind than if you're just like scared and like on the couch like this. Yeah. Like when I was a competitive lifter, if I like had an issue, I was lifting. That would, that would be my outlet. Now it's like a lot of times more get on the phone with someone. How can I help you? Like go on DMs, answer comments, like whatever it is. Recognize that fear and do something positive with it. Like actively force yourself and, and make one th or make a list of three things that you can choose from. When I feel this, I can do this, this or this. Do it. It'll help. Cool. Man, I, if you knew how much I believed in you, you'd shit. You wouldn't be fearful anymore. Swear to God, like you, there's no reason for you to be fearful because like you're gonna succeed in anything you do. And I could say that over and over again, it's not gonna change anything, but like, I'm not worried about you at all. <laughs> you're gonna be fine. Like, just keep working. That's it, you've been doing this for a year. And you're already doing really well. Mm -hmm.